All right, the last thing we are going to add to our movie project here is sound effects and music. So, over here on the right hand side of the screen, with your media buttons, go ahead and click on the musical notes button, and this will bring up the music and sound effects window. And we have a couple folders full of sound effects here, iMovie sound effects or iLife sound effects. Under iLife sound effects, you can search through a number of different folders, animal sounds, different jingles, machines, people, all sorts of sound effects. Um, and then in iMovie, we have um, quite a few already um, recorded sound effects. So once you find one you want to hear, go ahead and double click it. And it previews the sound for you. So I think I'll like this um, bubbles sound effect to go in my title. So I'll just drag it over and drop it into my movie project. And you'll see that it drops a green box in my project window and I can drag that box wherever I like so I'll have it start at the beginning of my title and then I can drag the end of it to finish up wherever I want it to end and it also has the settings button that if I click I can adjust the audio settings for it reduce the volume fade it in, fade it out things like that. Okay, so now if I preview this uh, project, I have a nice bubble sound effect to start us off. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to add is some music. Now there are a couple ways to do this. Under iLife sound effects, and under Jingles, we have a lot of pre-recorded music that Apple has included in this software. If you would like to include your own music, you can scroll down even farther and access music that you've created in GarageBand or music that you have saved in your iTunes library. I'm just going to go ahead and grab some pre-made Jingles from the iLife software here. And I'll scroll down and you can again preview all of these sound effects and um, jingles. And once you find one, double click on it. And if you like that particular sound effect, go ahead and drag it into your project window. And again, you can drag it to start wherever you would like it to. So let's say I want it to start right about here. And you'll notice it doesn't quite um, go to the end of my clip or my movie. So I can drag in another one and drag it to fill in the extra space. Okay, so now we have our title, our transitions, sound effects, and music all in the project window. And so if we preview this, we should get a good sense of what our final movie is going to be like.